Sorry. We're on the fifth episode of Preacher, Self Will Rise Again. And after Preacher showed off his skills last week on Owning King Cannon, I, he seems to be a bit of a star in town. And people are flocking to him and want to talk to him, and he's using his gift more and more. I'm thinking this is going to backfire at some point soon. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, you do something like, you do a stunt like that where, like, the entire city knows that this guy fucking hates religion, and he's all of a sudden because of you? Dude, people are going to be fucking talking. Right. That's Tulip how YouTube is, stars are made. Tulip is definitely that crazy ex-girlfriend, kind of. Dude, yes. let's, <laughs> totally. kick, let's kick to the weird 20-minute intro. Opening, yeah. Which I keep watching, I'm like, I don't get it, but I'm curious, well, What's going and on? at some point in time, I was actually, like, upset that they cut from it, leaving it, like, unfinished. Yeah. So I was like, now I don't know what happens to this motherfucker, dude. Who is he? Like, yeah, like, what's going on? The town of Ratwater, where they do all kinds of weird stuff back in the day. And yeah. he kind of let his family die by going back. And, yeah, his... Family was being eaten by crows by the time he got back with his medicine for his daughter. Yeah. Crazy like, stuff. what was that? I have no idea. Yeah, I, <laughs> I like Jennifer that we do, I like that we don't know anything about the this little vignette, <laughs> except for those crows coming out of the. And it's like it's kind of a risky move to even put that in the start of an episode that has nothing to do with the current story. Like I keep hearing like, oh, no one cares about preacher and whatnot, even though it's a good show, as we I think we all agree. And just like it's not doing, it's it's performing at its own rate. Like it's doing things that is going to pay off probably big later. And but right now they're like, let's tell our story how we want to tell it. And because this isn't the first time we've gone back to Ratwater now. How many? This is probably this is like, the second it's, time. This is only the second. I thought it was second or third. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's cool. It's 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 a good. I don't know. It's something to keep us interested. I guess. Definitely. Uh, and then, yeah, um, Jesse yeah. played his little magic with our space, <laughs> which our space lo looked legitimately freaked out by Jesse, <laughs> so, which is hard to do because. Right. It's and space. so was Jesse and or our space and what's that girl's name? Tracy. Were they like dating or something, or did she get in the accident and he's like, "I can't live without you, dude," and tried to end it, or? So was he really going to blow his head off and she was going to take a kick in the head and like roll My best guess style? is that he's the reason she went in a coma and then that's why he was killing himself. She, no, she yeah. fell off a horse. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. That's that part. Okay. Maybe it was his fault somehow. That's my best guess. Why? Yeah, because there's a lot of resentment there. And that, yeah, that mom absolutely just hated him yeah she dude, was was like, her he, didn't even care that he was fucking up her car dude like felicia style i thought preacher was gonna be like smash her face into the side of my car for breaking my windows that's what i would have done yeah and then they're just riding in the car with all that broken glass in there dude when is he gonna start doing stuff like that like smash your head into this like dude who damn there's a superhero that does oh we just watched that show remember what the hell's his name uh from the girl with the jeans Jessica, oh, Jones. Jessica Jones. Yeah. You want to become dude. the Purple Man? Yeah, just making people do just dumb things, but in a good way. But instead, he has to touch him, I think, to get the, to get the power. Really, dude, well, I'm no, because really... he just said drop it, and she drops it. Yeah. Like, he can tell people I'm, to do stuff. He's, I'm he's really getting there. I'm the Donnie storyline here right now. Dude. Donnie has it kind of all figured out, too, what's going on in town. <laughs> yeah. Which After is he weird. knows something's not right with his boss. Right. His boss <laughs> later blows those people away. Yeah, I... what the fuck is going on, dude? He's all like, I found God, dude. And then pulls out a 12 shot, he, dude, and just fucking does work. And he's like, oh, okay. What's so up? did he snap out of it, or I don't... Dude, I don't he know. That he so thinks weird. he's like a fucking warrior of God. Like, he's like got this mentality where it's like he's got, you know, the belief inside of him, but, you know, he can only do what preacher tells him to do so he's like you got the faith so he's got the faith but he's also got like in the back end of it like this fucking psychotic assness dude possible. like where he's just like okay i believe in the lord the lord wants you dead you're an evil man and just like kills people i feel like he's gonna it's gonna come out like that gimmick dude where he's like a warrior 
The Warrior of God. Warriors. I don't know, man. Come out to play. Yeah. I was a little afraid of Donnie's wife in this episode, too. I felt like she was going to be a yeah. major player against Jesse. Well, dude, and then when she told Donnie she was going to take that guy in the broom closet and fuck him at work, dude, I'm like, oh, you better shut your mouth. I think she wears the pants in that relationship. Yeah, so that was yeah. a pretty rude thing to say. <laughs> it was a rude thing to say, wasn't it? Good. I, honestly, the part I had to watch twice was Cassidy and Tula when he was when they were talking about him being a vampire and all that stuff. It was pretty. I appreciated the explanation of what kind of vampire he is and like what is in that mythology. Appreciated that. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that he doesn't have fangs. I like that he believes in sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing to believe in. <laughs> and, well, him coming out of that, uh, the strip club, that, I don't know if you caught the little words on the sign outside the strip club. Mm-hmm. Thousands of beautiful girls and three fat ones. That was fun. <laughs> there was, there was Wait, some of the little subtle that. things in these Thousands episodes. of beautiful girls and what? Thousands of beautiful girls and three fat ones. <laughs> no, I don't know how I feel about that. It was funny. I didn't laugh. <laughs> I can't <break. laughs> And obviously, Tulip is like, oh, Cassidy's friends with Jesse. Let's get him jealous, which I don't think is going to work at all. Yeah, and my thing is, is like, when does Cassidy figure out Tulip's talking about Jesse, or does she already know? I don't know. I think it's all going to come into play pretty soon. Yeah, me too. Boiling point. Nothing like a good conversation on the toilet. Dude, Jesse's got got a thing for uh, his girl, his little sidekick at the church, though, dude. You know there's a little romance budding there, dude. Oh, that was funny when she was on the toilet. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> then she closed the door and she's back to peeing again. I think she was pooping, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear any splash, bro. Yeah, true. You gotta work it out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, if I wasn't taking a poop, I probably was pooping after that. (laughs) I can't believe that phone was ringing almost this this entire episode for those guys. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. They're just sitting there in the bathtub. Like, like, what are we going to say when we pick that thing up? Yeah, dude, that 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 was I think was my favorite scene when they're like, "What are they gonna say? Like, how's it gonna go down?" They're just you know, you're the favorite. Everybody loves you. (laughs) (laughs) Those guys, and then it stops ringing. I'm so curious to learn more about these guys and more about like what that power that's inside Jesse that they're, go- they're, they're trying to recapture in that metal tin. And now that they've revealed themselves to Jesse, and Jesse thinks that the voice is coming directly from God, and they're like, no, friend, you got it all mixed up. Right. It's the little ball of light inside you. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, doing a musical tonight. Yep. So closing out this episode of Preacher, what score are you guys going to give it? Are we fives around this episode? No. I feel like it was a five, man. You're a five on this one, Rich. <laughs> uh, Sweeney, why don't you go fire one off? Uh, I'm going let, with let a four. Let me have this simmer. I think I'm going with a four. I thought it was overall solid. Um, when I compare Game of Thrones season finale to this, definitely not on the same par. Uh, but it was good. It was interesting. We found out some information. Cassidy and Tulip, what's going to become of them? Preacher making some bad decisions. Where are we going to find out what happened with Arseface and uh, Tracy? Um, like I said, we want to find out more about the, the men of God and see what's going on. And I really want to know why old Queen Cannon fucking went total fucking psychopath and just start blasting dudes and better yet if you hear shotgun blast going off in an office dude are you fucking gonna go into that office no the bathrooms must be soundproof <laughs> to, yeah to walk in like completely nonchalant to like oh i'm just coming in with my i was a little bit late that was really weird hey i uh, just let you guys know um you're out of hand towels and bam <laughs> Yeah. Who's playing with the fireworks up here? <laughs> I'm gonna give it. Uh, I was I was torn between a three and a four, but I think after uh, the speech there, the old, old man's speech over there, too, I'm probably gonna give it a four. Dude, Sweener kind of hyped it up on some stuff that I wasn't thinking about, dude. And uh, I'll probably give it a four. The show continues to s- stay steady. 
it hasn't taken a nose dive yet, dude. And I think it's been consistent, dude, so far. Like keeping my keeping me entertained and giving me some good stuff, dude, and some stuff to look forward to in the future. Um, Who do, you, do you think James Earl Jones is on the other side of that phone? Yeah. Yes. That's the only person <laughs> that could be on the other side of the phone, obviously. <laughs> well, why couldn't it be Morgan Freeman, dude? Hey, he, I, I I asked what you guys thought. <laughs> it could be, but no. Why can't One it be Nicholas Cage? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it a three. I thought it was okay. I don't know. I'm not loving the show as much as I was in the beginning for some reason. The last couple episodes have just been eh to me. But there's a lot of intriguing stuff that's gonna that seems to get me excited for the future. But not this episode. Three. The future is coming. Chris, I kind of believe with uh, with you for the most part. I'm at three also. They, there's some cool parts in this episode, especially. Jesse holding back that mom of Tracy was a crazy scene. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's bigger things to come. I want to learn more about a lot of these characters. And that's the, they're teasing you for the most part. But I want to learn more about those guys from heaven. And yeah. When it was on the other side of the phone, whether it's. <laughs> without it. Yeah. yeah. Enough with the cock tease. Yeah, got, hey, did you hear the news on it? Renewed for second season, yeah. What? Wait, where did you hear that news, Chad? I heard it on live on the Ave, dude. Every day, five o'clock central on Twitch TV backslash Alex and Ave, baby. Is that where you guys hear it? Oh, dude, you heard it there. But Tristan's gonna give you some more insight. You should probably it. subscribe though, so that they never miss any kind of music like that ever again. Dude, you don't want to miss, dude. If you're a fan of the preacher, you would have missed out on that, dude. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, look, uh, it was surprising that they. Well, not surprising, but they didn't reveal that they're going to be renewed for a second season until today because um, there's some speculation like oh, maybe they're, they're going to cut this because the ratings aren't very big but they are yeah, kind of I haven't looked into ratings have they been steady or is it just I keep hearing that there's like very small interest in this show I accidentally keep throwing out my Nielsen reports the, the ratings are like I think it was like a 3 the last time I saw it whereas The Walking Dead gets you know, like 12 that's an established product. Yeah, so I, I I don't know. I think it's okay. They gotta give it time. I feel like Game but of I don't think it's catching on. Dominating social media as of late, so maybe now that that's over, people will see what else is on TV. Yeah, maybe it'll bounce up, but I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be like Breaking Bad, right? No one watched it in the first season, the first yep. three seasons of that show, and then finally everyone's like, "Oh, it's awesome!" And then it's huge. <laughs> Could be. 